Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Style Selector SDXL in Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. Plus, I'll show you how simple it is to make images in different styles. Let's dive in. In the Stable Diffusion interface, go to the Extensions tab. Then click the Available tab and hit the Load From button in orange. This will show you all the styles you can add to the Automatic 1111 interface. To quickly find Style Selector, use the Ctrl plus F shortcut on your keyboard and type Style Selector. Once you find it, click the Install button. It should install pretty fast. Now, go back to the top and click the Installed tab. Click Check for updates to make sure all your extensions are up to date. If everything's updated, you'll see the word Latest on the right. Finally, hit the Apply and Restart UI button to reload the interface. If it doesn't restart, close the command window that's open and restart Stable Diffusion. After that, it should work just fine. If you scroll down, you'll see a new tab called SDXL Styles. You can open or close it by clicking on its name. By default, it's set to base, which means no style is applied. Let's test it out to see how this extension works. I'll use the prompt Acute Penguin. Since I'm using SDXL models, I'll set the width and height to 1024 pixels and click Generate. This is what you get when no style is applied. Now, let's try a different style. I'll pick 3D model and click Generate again. What you get is a cool looking penguin that looks like a 3D render. Let's try another style called Fantasy Art and click Generate. This time, the penguin appears in a fantasy setting. There's another style called Silhouette. This is really good for people who like crafting and want a simple black and white outline. It's perfect for using with cutting machines like Cricut and Silhouette. You can also pick a random style by checking the box that says Randomize Style. Below the image, you'll find all sorts of details about how it was made, like the prompt, the steps, and the seed. You can also see info about the style that was used. In this example, the style was anime. Let's generate another one. This time, I got a pixel art version of the penguin. There are lots of options you can play around with, including running a batch of images. Try out different styles and prompts to see what works for you. If you decide you don't like an extension, it's easy to get rid of it. Just go to the Web UI folder, find the Extensions folder, and delete the whole folder for the extension you don't want, like in this case, the Style Selector XL folder. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to help this channel grow. Got any ideas for what you want to see next? Leave a comment here or join the Pixaroma community to share your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and have an awesome day.